you guys welcome back to my channel so i have my lisa here on youtube today's gonna be a fun video because we are reviewing makeup by mario surreal skin foundation i am so excited to be reviewing this foundation because so many people said so many good things on tiktok if you guys follow if you guys are on tiktok then you know people have been reviewing this left and right i have not seen that one bad review so my expectations are pretty high up I got the shade 18W. Um, I know this is not my shade. My correct shade, I think, is 13W, at least for right now, because I'm very pale. Because it's winter time. Okay, so this is the foundation. This was the last one that they had. I had to get this shade because there was no other shades available, so I just picked up this one. Everyone that has been doing this video or this review always has like really nice skin, and like I love that for them. Um, but I have hyperpigmentation on especially, especially this cheek right here. I have a bunch of red marks from acne and just basically living my life. Um, I have a pimple right here. Um, I don't have perfect skin, so if you're like me and you don't have perfect skin and you're like, well, is it, is it acne prone skin friendly? We're gonna get to the bottom of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I only have my skincare on. I have moisturizer and sunscreen, but that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not gonna wear primer because I just want to see how this foundation looks just by itself. So let's try out Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin on Hyperpigmentation Skin. Oh my god, I was so excited. Yee. I'm just gonna go straight in with my brush. One swipe. I dip my brush in. Let's see what it gives. The shade match. <laughs> not gonna, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it ain't gonna, mm, nah, nah, it ain't gonna work. <laughs> the shade is so bad, but we move. You feel me? Not gonna lie. This says medium coverage, but y'all, and if you want full coverage, it's definitely achievable. It is pretty full coverage, in my opinion. Hmm. Okay, I don't know. The verdict is still out on this. I see what the girlies are talking about when they talk about this foundation. This is really the type of like product where you could just wear this and run out the house. Like it, like if if, if it was your right shade, like you could do that. <laughs> oh no, I look like a oompa loompa. So this is my hyperpigmentation after we apply that foundation. The redness is really like, it really took away the redness and it looks super duper natural. And it does like feel, it doesn't, okay, it feels like a second layer of skin. It really does. It doesn't feel like there's foundation on my skin. It doesn't feel like I have to set this. Like, you know how when you wear certain foundations and you're like, oh my god, I can't wait to set this. Oh my god, it feels like, uh, like it feels, you get that feeling like I need powder. This foundation doesn't give you that. This foundation gives you like, you could walk out the house just with this foundation and like you're chilling like you just look like you have really nice skin that's what this foundation gives and like i mean like for me right now it just looks like i want to be tan so bad let's just try to ignore the bad color match it says it's medium coverage but you guys it is not medium coverage this is something that's more like medium full coverage i'm looking at my mirror right now um, this is definitely like a medium full coverage because one swipe or one, yeah, one pass with my brush really did like cover all of that hyperpigmentation and acne scars. Like it covered it so well. Um, my texture is coming through, but that's like, of course, like no foundation is going to get rid of that. I just so happy to have textured skin. Um, this is like a natural, they, they claim it's a natural finish foundation and I do agree, it gives natural finish. If you have oily skin, I think that you could also wear this foundation. Um, don't be scared that it's like luminous or anything or like too dewy, cause it's not too dewy. It is um, definitely like a natural, it really does remind me, it really does remind me of my NARS Radiant, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I think that these are the same. These are dupes for one another. Um, I think the Mario one is a little bit less expensive. It's only 42, where, where this one I think is like 49, I think. I'm not too sure. 
but it gives the same. Um, it gives you that like medium full coverage finish, medium full coverage. It gives that natural long wearing finish. Um, the one thing about the Mario one though, is that it doesn't feel like it needs to be set and it does feel like there's nothing on my face which i really like so i feel like if you're somebody that wears foundation and just leaves the house um this is something that you could do with this foundation the way that makeup is going more natural every single day like people are just like i just want to look like myself this is the foundation that you wear when you just want to look like yourself you're not trying to do too much like it's really 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 natural and it does look like second skin i understand now why he calls it the surreal skin foundation because it really gives that it gives fake skin basically it gives avatar <laughs> i'm not mad at this like i really do think that this is a good foundation that is my review of this foundation i'll give it on a scale of one through ten hmm just off of first impressions because I don't know the longevity. I don't know how good this wears throughout the day. I don't know any of that. I'm just doing first impressions. literally just a first impressions. And then I'm wiping this makeup off and I'm filming another video. Um, I would give this like an 8.3. Just because I don't think it's that innovative as people are saying that it is. Um, I think it's beautiful. I think it's gorgeous. I think like... Yes, it looks beautiful on the skin and it looks super duper natural and like all these great things, but I already have a foundation like it. Got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> this is the this this is the same foundation. Ooh. And I oh if you're looking for a high-end foundation that looks like skin, that looks really natural, and that like just has that coverage as well because maybe you have hyperpigmentation like me and you want something that has good coverage but you also want it to be natural then this is a great foundation but if you already have like nars foundations you already have the house lab foundation you don't need this one um pick it up if you want to try it out it's like it's one of those things that you really just buy because you're like i want to try this because people are saying really great things it's a great foundation though there's nothing wrong with it I think it's great and I don't see any glitters on my face at all. Not one speck of glitter is on my face. Amazing. I love it. But I feel like I have other foundations that do the same. That's pretty much it for today's video. This is how the Mario Surreal Skin Foundation looks on me. On someone with hyperpigmentation skin, it does cover really, really well. So if you're worried about that and you have dark spots, no need to fret, no need to worry because the coverage is definitely there. And this is my first impressions on that foundation. I'm pleasantly surprised. I think it's great. I think it looks good. And I think it would layer really great on top of other products. Yeah, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked this video. And comment down below if you tried this foundation, what you think of it. I really want to know. I want to know how you guys think about it. I think that it's good, but it's not revolutionary. And that's okay. That's okay. Because as long as you make good products, that's all that matters. Bye.